everyone, my name is Xenia, welcome back. So this week I was planning to do a video about Russian authors and Russian books because uh, I'm Russian and I've read not a lot, but I've read some Russian authors and I wanted to talk about it. Honestly, I got too lazy. I, I don't know, I couldn't force myself to do the video. So yeah, I would do something easier and lazier today. So I thought I would talk about my plans for this year and not just for this year, but my reading plans in general. I've mentioned it already on my channel a few times, but if you don't know, I've been reading quite a lot of classics since I was, you know, a teenager. And I think uh, maybe two years ago, I realized that there is a lot more. There are a lot of happier books to read <laughs> because honestly, I love classics, but they can be quite tedious and depressing and especially if you read about the author's biography and I love knowing more about the authors and their lives. Yeah, starting this year I was thinking I should also check out a few of new releases and it can be quite cool to read a book at the time when it came out and when everybody's talking about it and you're joining in the conversation. So yeah, I thought it would be interesting for me to try that. And also, at the same time, um, it's a completely different plan. <laughs> but I wanted to try and reread some of the novels that I've read when I was 15, 16, 17, you know, around that time. Because I've read a lot of heavy books and a lot of quite deep and sophisticated works. And I feel like I, I couldn't understand them fully. I think it would be interesting to revisit those books and maybe just to see if I can understand something better because, you know, I changed and I learned some stuff. Hopefully I'm a bit smarter than I used to be 10 years ago. Uh, and I've already reread, I have it here, uh, I'm gonna be talking about it in my wrap up. This is Christina Rossetti's Goblin Market and some, some of her other poems. I reread it this January and I realized that I did not understand it at all when I first read it. I loved it, but I didn't understand it, so that was interesting. Uh, and a few of the books that I want to reread I will just mention here. So yeah, the first book that I will definitely be reading soon is Wuthering Heights. I reread The Tenant of Wild for Hole quite recently and I loved it. I made a review. I'm gonna post a link somewhere maybe. and. I just thought, well, I definitely love the Tenant of Wildwood Hall more than Jane Eyre, but I'm not sure if I liked it more than Wuthering Heights or not, so I thought I, I should reread Wuthering Heights and see. I know it sounds silly to compare. It's like a reflex that I can't help. I just, whenever I get three Bronte novels, I just want to compare them and to rank them, and I know it's horrible, and I'm really sorry for that. And I also wanted to reread Nausea and Other Words by Sartre because I, I feel like I did not get those books at all, even though I really, really love them. I remember enjoying them so much. I'm very curious to reread and see what I think. Then there's Dubliners by James Joyce, a short story collection which I adored. I've read it twice in my teen years. I think I read it in school first and no, I read it in university first and I remember really struggling with English and then I reread him a few years later when my English was better. I feel like there is still, you know, I can try one more time and see if I have missed something. I'm sure I have missed a lot. Then I have two books that I want to reread because if I go on Goodreads now and open those books, those links, I gave both of them one stars. I have no idea why. I can't remember. I remember reading them, but I don't remember what was going on in my head. I don't give it easily. You know, a book has to deserve my hate. And to those books I gave one star. So it's um, Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad, I think. And Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut. And I loved Slaughterhouse Five a lot, so I'm curious to see how I feel about this book that I gave one star few years ago. We'll see. And I think with The Heart of Darkness I just didn't get it and I was bored. That's why I gave it one star. So I'm curious to reread and see what's up with this book. 
Also another book that I want to reread is Master and Margarita by Bulgakov. What's his name? Bulgakov. Bulgakov. Mikhail. <laughs> Mikhail. Uh, so yeah, Master Margarita by Mikhail Bul Mikhail. Okay, I should check. Yes. <laughs> by Mikhail Bulgakov. This is the book that I've read at school at 15 or 16 and I remember that it was really amazing but I really tried really hard to dislike it because everyone, all of my classmates liked it a lot <laughs> and this is a whole other story of me being 15 years old that was a long time ago I, like I said, hopefully I grew up a little bit and got smarter so yeah, I'm curious to reread it now and yeah, those are the books that I want to reread but I feel like I won't get to all of them this year so those are just my plans for the future, not, the, not necessarily for this year and there's one more author that I want to reread and this is Jerome Salinger I have a whole other reason to reread him because first of all, I've been rereading him maybe every two or three years since I was 14 since I first read Catcher in the Rye and this is just like the thing that I do but the main reason why I want to do it is because I feel like well the Catcher in the Rye gets a lot of hate after reading this book people don't even try to read anything else by Salinger and this really hurts my heart <laughs> a lot and I definitely want to make a video about that discussing it I just thought that before I make a video I should reread all of those all of his novels. So yeah, this is what I will definitely be rereading quite soon, hopefully. And also I had another idea for my future reading existence. <laughs> and it was to read, you know, those big, massive, huge books that have a lot of influence and <clears throat> everybody talks about them. So I thought I should read those books. And I love big books. I love getting through them, it's like a personal challenge. So in this list I have Moby Dick, Ulysses, War and Peace. By the way, I've read War and Peace in school, but I was 15, so that doesn't count. Middlemarch, uh, Les Miserables, and what else? I think I have... Oh, and also Iliad and Odyssey by Homer. I have no idea if I will ever read it, but I feel like before Ulysses I should read that. Um, yeah. If you've read any of those books and if you love them please let me know and cheer me up and make me read them because I feel like I really need some encouragement for those books because they are quite intimidating these are my goals for the future specifically 2019 thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye